That's a huge fish. <laughs> What is good? What is good, all my real ones? Welcome back to another episode of It Gets Real. It's your boy, B, the Flossy Fisherman. And today, and we out in lovely Monterey, hitting the surf, man. You know, doing a collab with uh, one of my homies, Elon, from um, Fisherman's Chronicles. Yeah. So we gonna leave the link down below. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. Y'all know I've been on the hitting the surf lately, and uh, a goal of mine is still to catch whether a striper or a perch off a lure. So um, I'm out here following Elon's lead and uh, seeing if we can make that happen. So y'all keep it locked and see if we can't hook up on something. Woke up in the morning around six o'clock. Hop up in the whip and hit the bank shot. Gotta make it quick, no time to waste. But I gotta stock up on where I'm hooked and wait. Pull up to the lake trying to find a spot. This brand said they biting by the duck. If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal. Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real. Alright, y'all. So this is the setup I'm using today. I actually forgot I had this rod. It's a salmon steelhead rod, ugly stick elite, nine foot, you know, medium action. And uh, I'd say it's probably between a 4,000 and 3,000 reel. But I got 30 pound braid on here. Um, then I got 14 pound leader line to my Lucky Craft sardine glow with the tactical clip. Yeah, man. About to try to make this happen for the first time and um hook up on a striper or a surf perch on a lure i'm throwing nothing but lures today man so you know i'm doing things differently i left my shimano at home i left the nazi at home man and uh yeah didn't bring no sandworms today so no sandworms and doing nothing but uh lures today Nut shot. Damn. All right, y'all. So I got my first strike like out there, kind of past the last wave, the last break right there. So I'm going to see if I can get back out there. Whatever you do, don't underestimate the power of these waves in this current, man. Strong as The line just hooked up. I'm probably with the biggest surf perch I've ever seen. Fatty. It's a fat one. Dang. That's the first fish of the day. Woo! They're traveling to school, so just keep casting right here. For sure. Okay, not very far, so just, just here. There might be some more though. All right. See if we can make it happen. So we got a line here from Fisherman's Chronicles. Yeah. You see these big surf perch, man. He didn't cut off the Kalissa sardine glow. Yes, sir. But man, time to tell the people how you got into fishing, man. Uh, I started when I was really young in Mexico, just with a hand line, and I just always loved it. But I lived most of my life in Mexico City, so there's not a lot of places to fish. And then I came here. And for a couple of years, I didn't realize how good the fishing was. But, you know, once I started learning the species and learning kind of their patterns, their behavior, it just picked up and it's it's just been awesome. Nice. Yeah. So uh, what made you start a YouTube channel, man? Quarantine. Definitely quarantine. <laughs> I was sitting at home doing nothing. 
and yeah, decided to do it and I'm taking a gap year right now. So I'm going to college in a year and I'm going to see what I can do. If I can do some traveling and a little bit of fishing, I'll definitely do it. And I'm super excited to see where it takes me. All right, so you didn't came a long way, man, from when I first met you on Dumbarton Bridge and uh, you're asking me for leader line and for stuff, leader, man. Yeah. For a while, yeah. But now you're catching uh, more fish than I've even caught, <laughs> man. Yeah. So, um, I mean, how is that progression, man? How do you go about uh, tackling these different species? Learn the species, for sure. It's just about learning the species. Because, I mean, if, you, if they're there and you put the bait on them, they'll, they'll hit. So, I think I've just done a good job learning all the species and what they like. And yeah, <laughs> a little bit of good luck. For sure. got stung by a stingray. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that was my yeah. house. Uh, Tell us a little something about that. I thought it was a really big halibut at first. And then I saw it was a stingray. So I wanted to show it to the camera. It got a little stupid, got stung. Um, overall a good experience though. Other than the getting stung part, I think I learned a little bit. And I got still the, got, got a little bit of a right scar. Right there, the war wound, huh? Yeah, and I got the, I got the little, uh, I got like this much of a stingray tail in a little jar next to my bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A keepsake from a it, huh? A keepsake, yep. Yeah. All right, that all right. And the doctor's bill. Also a keepsake. Man. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So what was the pain like? I stung and at first, at first I couldn't believe I just got stung because I was kind of like, that's really stupid. Like, you shouldn't have gotten stung. And then um, I was trying to get it out and it just wouldn't come out. That thing goes in, it does not come out. And there was a certain point, if you watch the video, where the venom just kind of set in. And the second it set in, it was just kind of, it was burning, but also my, my, my fingers started going numb. That's what I was really worried about. Cause you know, I was on the kayak alone, just in the middle of the bay and the finger is still attached to me. So, my hands going numb. I just had to get it out, and you know, thankfully their their barbs are actually meant to break off when they sting something. That's why they're serrated. It just mine didn't. So what I did is I just took the pliers. I ended up breaking the barb off, releasing the stingray, and that thing will grow back. So you know, no harm done to either of us in the long run. <laughs> so it's perfect. <laughs> so is there any fish on your list uh, that you haven't caught yet? In the bay? Oh, salmon. Salmon, but I will. I'm I'm looking at that soon. Okay, me too, that. man. That, that goes for me too. Yeah, I'm trying to catch one from shore. Uh, but it's just so tough. The salmon are really tough. But I'll be I'll be making some trips up there to see if I can hook one. For sure. Yeah. So any other plans that you have with the channel? I mean, what what would you want to see the future of uh, Fisherman's Chronicles? Well. I'm gonna I'm gonna travel, so I think I'm gonna be going to Cabo soon. I'm doing a bit of fishing right off the surf, and there's really cool fish there. There's mahi mahi, rooster fish, big snappers just right off the beach. And really, the the point of Fisherman's Chronicles is I'm gonna be in college in a year, and I don't think I'm gonna have as much time to do this. But I want to just look back at the entire year at, uh, before that and just have like a bunch of cool fishing memories I can always look back on. I got Instagram, it's official fishing, but official, like fish, official. <laughs> um, but really the, the main thing is the YouTube. Right so on, yeah, right Fisherman's on. Chronicles. Right on, man. It was good getting out here with you. Thanks, man, you too. You know, won't be the last time. 
until you uh, take off, you know, but yeah, yeah. even then, I might have a friend to go visit in Mexico. There you go. Well, all right, y'all. So it finally happened today. Caught my first surf perch and PV surf perch um, off the lure, off the Lucky Crab. Yeah, man. I only managed to get one. We were out here all day, plugging away, you know, and, it, and it's like that. When you uh, fish with lures, you gotta find them. I mean, we walked probably about two miles, if not more. I mean, shoot. But, you know, you catch quality fish, man, with the, with the lures. Kind of weeds out all the small guys because they get intimidated by something that big. Yeah, man. So overall, it's a cool day, successful day. Uh, didn't get to hook up into a striper. I think Elon had one, but got away, man. But hey, you know, it, it happens out here. It does get real. And I'm gonna leave the link in the bio for my guy Elon, Fisherman's Chronicles. Yes, sir. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe. You know, well, we wrapping this thing on up, man. So y'all know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, comment, do what it do. Follow me on It Gets Real Fishing on Instagram and Facebook and hop on itgetsreal.com. Purchase some of this merch you see right here. Till the next time, man. Y'all be safe, y'all be cool, y'all stay blessed, peace.